So we've been cruising now five months on holiday, uh, over five months, and so far we don't have an autopilot. Uh, we've mainly been doing short hops. We honestly haven't needed one. It would have just been an extra expense and something that would have been uh, making its way towards braking like everything else on the boat. But we're planning on going to the Bahamas now and doing some more longer hops, so we decided we were going to install an autopilot. Uh, I did all kinds of research on the below decks ones that, you know, when you read the forums, everybody says you just have to have. Now, I think they may be talking more like uh, for foul weather sailing or crossing oceans or whatever, neither of which we're going to be doing or trying to do. And on the Tartan 37, I read uh, the instructions on installing a below decks one, and there's not a lot of room down there to do it, and it looked overly complex to get uh, the arm installed at the right angle to turn the steering quadrant. Anyways, something that would take some doing to uh, just to have it installed or to install it myself. So, uh, stumbled upon the CPT autopilot, which is a wheel pilot, uh, which when you read the forums, uh, people say wheel pilots aren't that great, that they're not powerful enough, that they don't steer correctly, you name it. But I uh, decided to give it a try. And uh, the CPT autopilot is uh, actually oversized for holiday, Tartan 37 at 15,500 pounds. They rate it for much heavier boats and uh, just came in the mail today. Uh, first thing I noticed was that it's a small box that has everything in it and it's a uh, pretty light. It says 15 pounds, so less than 15 pounds. I should be able to install it here in a day, in an afternoon. It said even a few hours. We'll see. So uh, we'll do a little review here, see how easy it is to install, if it's as easy as they're saying, and then we'll continue on reviewing it uh, with some real world use as we uh, do some test sales with it and then sail over to the Bahamas. So once and for all, we'll know if all that negative stuff that you see some people put on the forums about them is true or if the people on the forums that post extremely positive things if they're right or if it's something in the middle so here we go let's open the package so we have the checklist and uh, probably the thing that goes on the wheel I'm guessing The uh, belt to turn it. Got some uh, instructions here. Got the controller Just hooked to uh, this, looks like the gearbox, and uh, some mounting hardware. And that looks like it. So like we suspected or already knew, very few pieces, just a few things to install and uh, then hook it up to the battery. So let's get started. Okay, someone in the materials there said that they did this whole installation in three hours. It may take me a little bit longer, but we'll see. I will say we're on a mooring ball, so gotta dig around for all my tools, so all right here on the boat. So. Uh, that's another thing. We'll see how easy it is to install away from the dock. And the first thing it says to do is to take off the steering wheel. I lost a little time there putting it on the wrong side of the wheel, so now I've removed it and putting it on the correct side of the wheel. All right, now we've got it mounted, finally on the right side. Well, I just found out that I accidentally put the pulley on backwards. This is not difficult directions. It's just 
I'm struggling. Luckily, I got Lindy here to help keep me straight. So, flip her around, put it back on again, and maybe this time I'll have it right. Okay, and we got the wheel back on, and we're going to do some little tests here to make sure that uh, the gear is centered before we tighten it down. Okay, we've gotten the bracket put all together here uh, with our drop down piece that you have to use to specific for the Tartan 37 pedestal. And we're about to uh, hang it from the pulley here and get it in place to mount on the pedestal. We've finally gotten the motor mounted here and the cable tensioned. We think we've got it all about in the right place. So now it's time to mess with the electrical connections. All right. Uh, less than three hours of work later i do have everything installed the control panel there it says you're supposed to keep that uh, from mounting it until you do your c trial so to make sure there's no magnetic interference okay so we've got the cpt autopilot fully installed and uh, we're c trialing it here on our way to the bahamas so i know you're supposed to c trial it in calm conditions so this will be a good test for it We've turned it on for the first time with the rudder setting set to five and the dead band at a minimum. All in all, without any sort of corrections, it's steering us uh, along this course here that I set. And as you can see, we're, we're bouncing around pretty good here. And the uh, first impression of the CPT autopilot is that uh, it works well. Of course, we're motoring now. We'll test it more with sailing later. Okay, it's time for us to turn a little, so we're going to try the 10 degrees to port button. I, I adjusted the dead band up to two to make it force correct a little less, and at two, it's doing really well. So here we go. 10 degrees to 10 degrees to port. Looked like it may have oversteered there a little bit, so I probably need to lower the, the uh, rudder control, possibly. All right, so I'm going to try lowering the rudder setting for the next one and see if it uh, doesn't force drag back to starboard. So, so right now we're at four on rudder and two on dead band. Okay, here we go again. Not bad that time. Probably better than I could steer myself, but we'll just go with it. Uh, I'll keep on adjusting the knobs and see how it goes. Okay, now we've got the engine off. We're sailing. I've still got the dead band set on two and the rudder control set on four. We're uh, somewhere between close hauled and beam reach. 15 knots apparent wind speed. We're moving along at 5.9, 6 knots, and the pilot seems to be steering good. So, I'm really happy with it. So the CPT has been steering the boat now for over 5 hours. We're uh, approaching the Gulf Stream in, you know, ocean swells and it's just steering us on the course that we set. I may be missing something, but I don't really know why you'd want anything else other than this. Working great. So, the CPT Autopilot now has steered us for 24 hours across the Gulf Stream and now uh, midway across the Great Bahama Banks. That's uh, some sea trial, I'd say. And uh, it's performed perfectly. Uh, there was a time when we were entering the Bahama Banks at night that I decided I should hand steer uh, because 
it was dark and I was coming up to shallow areas so I, I turned it off and I tried to hand steer with swells hitting me on the beam and I found that I was having trouble steering a straight course where before I turned the CPT off it was steering a straight course so uh, against my better judgment I turned the CPT back on and it began to steer a straight course again straighter than I could have steered myself and I was more comfortable with it uh, certainly that's not best practices and I should uh, work harder at being able to steer the right course in any conditions and setting up sail trim a little bit better so that steering is easier but it's just uh, well that's all I got to say the CPT is working great uh, I couldn't imagine going through the trouble of installing an underdex autopilot at this point uh, now we haven't done any downwind sailing with it, but I don't know. Just from what I've seen so far, I'm imagining it's going to do fine. So that's it. CPT Autopilot. Two thumbs up from Holiday.